If you love me when I play my music, promise you will dance, dance for me, dance, dance for me. I'm used to making music, being the person I was, you know what I mean? So now that I'm a different person, I had to learn how to make music as this person. Now we don't even talk no more. You're mad? When I move, I move like a queen. It was, it was it was very difficult but very exciting and very necessary at the same time um, to to create music being this new person and it's also exciting to give um, my fans this this new music you wrote, you wrote and produced the song like a queen yes tell us about the song and why you decided why well, I did what oh okay 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 yeah I I was just in my studio working then while I was creating the beats. I remembered a scenario <laughs> and I wrote the song, produced and wrote the song. When I when I when I was done with the song, I I was actually thinking of sending it to another artist before. Then I discovered it wasn't fit for that person. So I knew. Rick was a white person at the center. This is Rick infusing, um, I'm not so good in musical terms, but I, I think there's something called alternate music, alternative music or whatever, but he's infusing that to Afro beats now. So it's like, this is Rickazani reloaded. It's, it's mad. It connects to you. It's not just something you not to, like you get inspired by most of the songs on it. My lady always put a smile up on my face She put my mind in a good place One of a kind of it replace, yeah I have a song with Salty Soul on the album I've always wanted to do a song with Salty Soul From my first album, I've always wanted to do a song with them And I'm so happy that we finally did a song And it's incredible Big shout out to Yasu, my producer Genius guy, man He was able to come up with the song Come up with the metal melody He wrote the hook You know, um, big shout out to my friend Chella Who works with me as well on writing the music so myself, Chela and Yasu, we were able to write this song and we sent it to Salty Soul. They loved it so much. Um, and they recorded it and they sent it back. It's such a beautiful track. I'm so happy, so grateful that I was able to do a song with Salty Soul. That's uh, one of my proudest moments on, on the album. Ooh. I know I might be too bad for you. You're too good for me You're too cool for me I know I might be too poor for you I have a song with YJ on the album. YJ is incredible. Besides the fact that her voice is incredible, she's an incredible human being. I can't use the word incredible enough for YJ. Like, YJ is so much, so, so, so much of a great person. The day that we recorded this song, it was just, we were just laughing the whole time. You know, I felt like I'd known her forever. And this was like the first time that I was really meeting her. We've run into, into each other, maybe backstage or shows or just, you know, a restaurant or something, but we never really spoke and connected. So um, thank you so much, Wajay, for doing that song with me. It's an amazing song. Um, yeah, man, that's one of my favorite, favorite records on, this, on, the, on the album. Belongs to Jesus. No other name above his name. Victory belongs to Jesus. When I call, he'll answer me. Victory belongs to Jesus. 
I think he had just finished doing a song. I don't know who said that line, victory belongs to Jesus. I think it was me or somebody in the studio. We just kept on playing on that same line, that same line for like a few minutes. It just sounded really good. And that's how the song came out. And that song came out of the fact that we were goofy and just kept this high energy and high vibe. I think that's how he made most of the songs, just being himself and just, you know, working really hard. And when I used to rap, I used to do gospel rap. So I, 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 Frank Edwards featured me on one of his songs. This was like nine years ago. So for me to do a song with Frank now on my own album, man, it's just, it's just incredible. And I'm really proud of that song. Such a testimony song. Such a like, it's just a, like, because truly victory belongs to Jesus. And like for all the work we're putting into everything, not even just music, you know, life all our careers, our businesses, everything. You know, we should always give thanks to Jesus and always appreciate God because he's the reason why we have our talents to start with. We used to sit by the beach, play love games and watch the sunset. We couldn't keep our hands to each other. I also have a song with, I have a song with Ricardo Banks. I think Ricardo Banks is incredible. I have a song with Paris. Peruzzi, Peruzzi is incredible. People, people don't know enough how incredible Peruzzi is. What if I tell you? Say I the crash for you. I still the mad for you. And I don't even know if it's me. Oh, Seeing both of them on one song together, damn, is 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 a hit. Trust me, man, it's a hit already. I was with Perizzi the other day, and we were talking when I was trying to style him for something, and he's also excited about BC. And I mean, we were all singing a song, and you know, it's a hit. I feel like um, maybe because of the kind of songs that he makes, they're very playful and very so people tend to think that he his craft is also. You know, ah, the guy just a chill, just to make the music. Um, but it's really incredible skill, you know, uh, with the harmony. And I was very, very impressed and blown away um, that day in the studio. So big shout out to Perugia, man. Boss, boss, lifestyle done. Big way, bad boys coming through. The bossless. I also have a song with Ajabo Hostas. I'm very excited about the song Have Ajabo Hostas because I've known them for a very, very, very long time. We, um, we are both from Port Harcourt. Um, seeing how they have grown on their success now. It's just ex exciting to see, you know. Um, and doing, I've been trying to do a song with them, um, but we, we just somehow we, we, it hasn't really worked. But this song that we made, it just it's just the right time, and it's just incredible, man. And I'm so happy that I have a song with them. The song Corey Day is an incredible record um, for me. It was written by Savy. It's such a beautiful song, man. I just felt like I should have prayers on, on the song. So I, I got my, my closest friends and uh, my family members to send me prayers. And I got my mom, I got my dad to send me a prayer. So it's, it's a really special, special track. You know, I featured my dad. Daddy, you have blown, so I'm so happy for you. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm really, really thankful to, to, to my family and my friends for doing that for me. It's, it's such a special record on the, on the album. I feel blessed to have contributed to the album. I feel blessed to have um, produced Corey Day and BC on the album, so, yeah. Time stands still when I'm with you. I feel love when I'm with you, and the feeling is true. How did I 
come in contact with Nikki Jam. It was a friend of mine. I had gone to Colombia. I went to what's Providence. I went to Providence Island in Colombia for a, for a show, right? So when I went there, I met a few friends, you know. So I think this was like uh, my my road man, my road manager, my translator that was following me around when I was in Colombia. I went to Bogota. I went to Providence. So Providence. So he was following me around. So I had his number on my, on my WhatsApp. He was helping me to translate the uh, Colombian language. And I wasn't understanding. So, so I, I, this was maybe uh, four or five months ago. So he messages me and he says, yo, Nicky Jam is playing your, your song on his story. And I'm like, really? So I, I knew Nicky Jam, but I just didn't really know, no, you know? So um, I, 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 um, he sends me the video and I'm like, oh, wow. So I posted on my story and I tagged Nikki Jam. In my mind, I'm like, obviously he's not going to respond, you know, but he responded, you know, and um, he, um, we exchanged contacts and we just started talking and such an incredible artist. He's such a huge, huge, huge global superstar, you know, and for me to have a song with him, it's, it's just, I still don't even really know how that happened. Like sometimes when I, when I see him on my WhatsApp, I'm still like, <laughs> you know, um, it's just, and he's such a humble, Nikki Jam, ah, Nikki Jam is so humble. He sends the best voice notes. Let me, let me, let me, let me show you guys something. Yo, man, just, just listen, just listen. Hey, what up, brother? You can send me the music through here. Anything you have, an MP3 or whatever. And uh, it's an honor for me to listen to your music, man. God bless. You know what I'm Like, man, like for somebody at that level to to say to me that it's an honor for him to listen. Like, which kind, that's just amazing, you know? It tells two things, right? It, it, it tells of, um, um, it tells of how, um, how far my work has gone and how far my progress has gone. But more, it tells of the kind of person that Nikki Jam is. It takes a very secure, self-aware, fulfilled, full, and humble person to say that kind of thing to somebody like me. Um, because he knows good and well that I am not on his, like he's six billion times bigger than <laughs> me raised to power 19, you know? But, uh, uh, and he doesn't have to do a song with me. For him to say that, it's just incredible. Girl, I've been waiting for a very long time for you to come in my life You've been on my mind days to tell me That I never could find someone to fill all the lines So, uh, we're talking about the album, right? Tell us the hardest or the most stressful song you've <laughs> I think the song that, that has uh, been, that, that has been, uh, or that was very, uh, difficult for me to finish was a song called Everything. And um, I don't know why, I just wanted it to be so, so perfect. I recorded it a couple of times, I wanted it to be so perfect. And um, I think I finally reached that perfection that I needed. But definitely, definitely a song called Everything. Can't do this anymore, our world is on the floor. A lot of the songs on the album are special to me, but I think I think the song I really like um, is a song I have called You Said. And it talks about, you know, it's just it's just a situation where, you know, you're just on your own, and then you are in, um, and then somebody just comes and forces you into, into a relationship. <laughs> You know, this is not a true life story, by the way. I, I just imagined uh, something where, you know, you're just on your own and then somebody um, who, who you're just a friend with, you know, they start all of a sudden saying, oh, they love you, this and that, you know. So um, you now enter inside the situation with the person and then the person says they want to leave. So the song just says, well, I was on my own. You came and said you love me. So how are you going to leave now? So it's just it's just a, a different kind of story. So I, I I really like that song. I, I think I really like that song. Me and you will be chilling. Bonnie and Clyde, oh, you can be my reason. 
I called my album The Prince I Became because um, it's really everything that I am now. I get the envy, but I never thought my niggas would be jealous of me, thought they'd be happy for me. But ever since I got the car and the crib, they be acting funny, but the hate can never touch me, God got me. All of their bank accounts, no fear reach half of my upper ring free money. With their small mouths, small boys, they trying to buy bands, but me, I'm on my fourth house. They're trying to blow that I think so. <laughs> Are you rolling? Oh well, yeah, fast. I've, I think I've said enough things, but keep going. Good. I don't know why I just want to live my life. I try, I to be alright. Ah, the guys are in here. Eleni, you should understand. I want to hear about you like you should understand. Oh, dear. Don't make Body. She understand. Yeah, and I, he came on new, but he don't want to show himself. Me and you will be chilling. Bonnie and Clyde, oh, you can be my reason. I can be your guide, oh, anything you want to